ask that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit. Yeah. And Lord God, we know that we can't preach until the Holy Spirit comes. Yeah. So we ask, Lord, that you would open us up, that we might be open to the presence of your Spirit. That you might bring forth your word according to your Spirit's guidance. That our hearts may be touched that the word might be customized to each of us, that we might receive it in the way that you intend to, and that it might result in fruit in our lives. Lord, forgive my shortcomings and enable me to bring forth your word in a way that pleases you as I hide behind the cross. In Jesus' name. Two runs, suddenly the 
are there because of errors that they made along the way. Still, there's something inside of us that wants to root for the underdog. Amen. The one who's down and out. The one that seems to have no chance of turning things around, kind of like my teams, the Red Sox and the Phillies this year. Uh -oh. Both of them themselves in last place. But suddenly, as the young people said, find the ability to flip the script and win the victory. And it's not just true when you're yelling and screaming about athletes who are making far more money than you and I will ever probably. Come on, come on. But it's also true when you see somebody flip the script on the game of life. Who the world can count it out. Who was ready to pack it in and, and give up the fight. Who was on their way to the clubhouse for an early shot. Suddenly turn things around and get on the winning side. Even though I couldn't make the game y'all went to, yesterday I was kind of hoping the River Sharks would make a comeback. But alas. And when game time came, they found themselves 
mowed down by the enemy. Turtles, amen. Only doom and disintegration. What awaited them? I wonder how many of us have ever felt like that, like we've lived in this valley. Some, maybe you've made a mistake or two in your life that, that's brought you nothing but problems. Maybe you've got yourself in with the wrong crowd and has gotten you off track and you can't get off of it. Maybe you've developed a habit that you don't like but you can't seem to break it. A problem you can't seem to. Maybe you're in a situation that makes you feel like there's no hope anywhere around. Sometimes we're just down on ourselves to the point we feel like we can't do anything right. Maybe family members or friends have given up on you and are on their way to the exit. So make you feel and have forsaken and alone like there's no hope. You've been down in trouble. And I mean, the momentum of the game is going against you. And you're feeling like a, a huge margin against you and a hostile crowd. But God asks Ezekiel the question, can these bones live? Can, can these bones live? The question seems almost like nonsense, an impossible situation. Bones, dry ones at that. No time left on the clock. Dead bones, a nation in exile without a home. Dry bones, a life that's been given up as worthless and unproductive. Dead bones. In 2012, a situation you gave up on and an attitude that you've given into, you say, well, that's just me. I can't change the situation. No possibility for change. Not even any moisture in those bones that would support life. Has anybody ever had dry bones? in your life. Stuff that you and everybody else gave up on and nobody thought had a chance. In our lives, we may often have to question, the question, ask the question, how can these bones live? Well, I want to let you know today, I want to thank God today that I serve a God that specializes in late inning comebacks. Because there's no deficit that's too large that God cannot wrap to victory. He can bring power to rejuvenate that which appears lifeless and listless and make it strong again. I'm so glad that God is the God of the ninth inning of life. I'm so glad that God is the God of the fourth quarter and the third period of life. Thank you. 
whole bone began to attach itself to the rest of the foot. The foot clicked itself into the bottom of the ankle. The ankle and the shin melted together and slid themselves into the knee side. The thigh bone clicked itself.
victory was one. I stopped by to tell you today that God is a restorer of dry bones. He's still the comeback king. Israel is a model of a situation of all of humanity. It was in a broken condition. It was dead and lifeless because of all the sin and evil that had plagued the world. He found not one human being on earth that was able to, to, to subject, uh, to, that was not subject to the evil that had enslaved his creation. But just in the nick of time, just before the final horn sounded, when all hope seemed to be gone, God sent in a substitute. <laughs> Amen. It's when 
a, a cheering section when, when the whole team begins to make a comeback. 